So these are some frequently asked questions related to the enactment of statutes and the adoption of resolutions. The first one is, what is the definition of a clerk? Government Code Section 9500 defines the term clerk to mean the engrossing and enrolling clerk or the employee who performs the duties of engrossing and enrolling when no employee is designated by name. What is the definition of committee? Government Code Section 9501 defines the term committee to mean the engrossing and enrolling committee of the House ordering that engrossing or enrolling of a bill or other document. What is the enacting clause? Government Code Section 9501.5 requires that the enacting clause of every law must be the people of the state of California do enact as follows. When does engrossing and enrolling occur? Government Code Section 9502 requires all bills and other documents ordered, engrossed, or enrolled by the Senate or the Assembly to be delivered by the Secretary of the Senate or the Chief Clerk of the Assembly to the Clerk of the House ordering the engrossing or enrolling. What is delivered to the state printer? Government Code Section 9503 requires the clerk to deliver the bills and documents without delay in the order of their receipt to the state printer for printing. What does the state printer do with enrolled copies of bills? Government Code Section 9504 requires that the state printer accept all bills and documents without delay and engross and enroll them and print them in the order of their receipt. What deliveries must be made by the state printer? Government Code Section 9505 requires the state printer to deliver the engrossed or enrolled copy of the bill or document with the original text to the clerk from whom he or she received it. What must the clerk do with the delivered, engrossed, and enrolled copy of the bill? Government Code Section 9504 uh, requires that they must carefully compare the engrossed or enrolled copy with the original version if correctly engrossed or enrolled, then the individual must report it back with the original version to the committee. What happens with a bill that has not been amended? Government Code Section 9506 requires all bills and documents that have been printed to be considered engrossed if no amendments have been made after the bill has been printed. When is a bill presented? Government Code Section 9507 requires that if the enrolled copy of a bill or of a document is found to be correct, then the committee must present it to the proper officers for their signatures. And when the officers sign their names as required by law, then the bill is enrolled. When is an enrolled bill transmitted? Government Code Section 9508 requires enrolled bills to be transmitted to the governor for his or her approval. What is the required endorsement for these enrolled bills? Government Code Section 9509 provides that as soon as an enrolled bill is delivered to the governor, it must be endorsed with the statement, this bill was received by the governor on this blank day of blank. Who must sign the endorsement of an enrolled bill? Government Code Section 9509 requires the endorsement to be signed by the private secretary of the governor by any other person designated by the governor whose designation has been reported to the Speaker of the Assembly and the President Pro Tem of the Senate. What happens when the governor approves a bill? Government Code Section 9510 provides that when the governor approves a bill, he must affix his name with the date of signing and deposit it in the office of the Secretary of State when it, where it becomes an official record of the state. What happens when the Secretary of State receives an approved bill? Government Code Section 9510 specifies that the Secretary of State must give it a number to be known as its chapter number. Then she numbers each bill in the order in which it's received, and the order of numbering is presumed to be the order in which the bills were approved by the governor. How many series of bills and resolution chapters are there? Government Code Section 9510.5 specifies that there are two series of bill chapter numbers for each two-year regular session of the legislature, as well as a series for resolution chapter numbers. How are bills designated by the Secretary of State? In Government Code Section 9510.5, it states that bills deposited with the Secretary of State from the beginning of the two-year session through December 31st of the odd-numbered year are to be designated as statutes of that year, chapter number, the, the given chapter number. 
How are resolutions designated by the Secretary of State? Government Code Section 9510.5 provides that concurrent resolutions, joint resolutions, and proposed constitutional amendments adopted by the legislature are to be chaptered as resolution chapters with a different series of numbers than those assigned to bills, but must otherwise be numbered and designated in the same manner as bills. How are appropriations bills handled by the governor? Government Code Section 9511 specifies that if a bill presented to the governor contains an item or several items of appropriation, that he or she may object to one or more items while approving other portions of that bill. What happens when the governor vetoes an appropriations bill? Government Code Section 9511 states that the governor must append to the bill at the time of signing it a statement of the items to which he or she objects and the reasons therefor. If the legislature is in session, then the governor must transmit it to the House in which the bill originated. What happens with a vetoed bill? Government Code Section 9512 provides that when a bill is passed both houses of the legislature and is returned by the governor without his or her signature and with the objections thereto, uh, and the same with items of appropriation, that upon reconsideration of the bill, both houses passed by the constitutional majority, which is two thirds, the bill or the item of, of appropriation are then authenticated as having become a law by certification. What must be attached to a vetoed bill? Government Code Section 9513 requires a certificate to be attached to the bill or endorsed on or attached to the copy of the statement of the objections. What is a required form for a vetoed bill certificate? Government Code Section 9513 requires the certificate to be in the form that says the bill having been returned by the governor with his objections thereto and after reconsideration having passed both houses by the constitutional majority has become a law on this day. Are bills deposited with the Secretary of State? Yes, Government Code Section 9514 requires the bill or statement authenticated to be delivered to the governor and deposited with the laws in the office of the Secretary of State. How is a veto message to Government Code Section 9515 requires that on the day the governor desires to return a bill without his or her approval and with the objections attached, they are returned to the house in which it originated. And the governor may deliver the bill with its message to the Secretary of the Senate if it originated in the Senate, or the chief clerk of the assembly if it originated in the assembly. The delivery is as effectual as though returned when the House was meeting. What is the governor's period of bill review? Government Code Section 9516 provides that every bill which has passed both houses of the legislature and has not been returned by the governor within 12 days becomes a law. And finally, when must final action occur on the budget? Government Code Section 9517 requires the legislature to finish its actions on the budget required by the Constitution by June 15th of each year.